Hey guys, Steve here for Who Took My Dice and Miniature Wargaming. You know I am. Uh, welcome to another Train Builders um, update sort of thing. I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's actually, I'm going to be showcasing, in all seriousness here, um, a piece I built for uh, Encounter Terrain's uh, 10x10 competition. It was on Instagram last month. Uh, it's November 2nd today, so I know there should be a new one coming, so I'll have another one of these very shortly. Um, so basically the competition was, uh, was, it was 10 by 10, so 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, you know, squared, basically about almost four inches squared on the base. That was the limit you could actually build over that as long as the base itself was only this small, uh, almost four by four type piece. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was great to, uh, to just join in. I haven't done anything like this in a while. Um, and I will include a link to this page down below. Uh, with all the, the different uh, pieces there, there's some amazing stuff. Just You guys will be floored by some of it. It's amazing. Um, I entered it. I really didn't think I was going to win or anything. I, not like it's a pity party thing. It was a ton of fun. I met some awesome people. Uh, I challenged myself a little bit on this one. Um, it was good. It was a lot of fun. And I encourage anybody else, if you, if you do come across, uh, you know, this sort of... Um, sort of competition with Instagram, YouTube, wherever, do it, dive in. Even if you don't think you have a, like a snowball's chance in hell of doing it, do it. Go do it. Of winning it, I say, go do it. Just do it. Just have fun. It's, it's, it's just great. It's a lot of fun. It's actually, there's two groups of us in this new one. There's another one that starts in two days. We're just waiting for the final rules to come down and uh, just have fun. I think it's the theme of this one is folklore now folklore and stuff like that so i've been doing some research and doing some studying on stuff um but yeah it's gonna be I, I can't wait it's it's i think it's almost quadrupled in size i think there was maybe doubled quadrupled i don't know it's a lot bigger than it was last time um so i'm gonna go table down in a second we're gonna take a look at it uh this one's built out of foam board uh and um some uh yeah just very thickness of that and some pink styrofoam as the base because it's easy to work with it's nice to be able to, you can kind of shave it off a bit to try and get the the sort of the, sh the shape you want right off the bat and uh but yeah i'm gonna dive into it and we'll take a look at it and i'll go over why i paint things the way i did and uh as anybody knows i love using foam board i think it's great to work with it's easy to manipulate to cut um but yeah it's a lot of fun so here we go we so here down. it is in all its glory so as you see here i used a number of pieces of the foam board there just to get the basic shape uh, the basing there, which I've painted up, this is the styrofoam, makes it very light. I just used some thinner stuff there for the, the these, these pieces of floor. Uh, and then just basic, just sand on there to give it the texture, wanted it dirty. Um, the same thing out here. I want to look like a just a, pe a ruined piece of building. It may at one point been something important, but at this point, it, no one really knows anymore. Um, just a lot of dry brushing to get sort of this... Uh, dirt covered thing and I, and, and I included the colors that you see everywhere in the rest of the model other than the blue the blue I just wanted to do something that broke up um the rest of are earthy and darker colors again I just put dry brushed up put the sand on here dry brushed it with some grays I did something different I actually decided that the inside of the flooring would look like some sort of concrete so I painted up differently make it uh to sort of break up the blue as well so it wasn't just a wall of blue Dry brush uh, several different colors. Um, I'll use some of the, the same color I used for here. The gray on there. Dry brush with some lighter blues just to give it those that, that color. Uh, do the same out here. Uh, use the same grays. I used some some uh, whites on there as well. To, there's a final highlight just to sort of break up the colors. Give it some light. Uh, it was a fun, fun, fun piece to make. And I love doing these things. I love to try and tell a story. Obviously, this is some sort of important piece of a building. That's why I put fl the flooring in, too. So it's not just a flat base. You can see there's some tiles here. They've been moved around by explosions. There's dirt on them. They're covered. It's not just a bare floor. It's uh, There's something there. Yeah, even if it's not a big story. Just to show that this building was used for something. There was There was someone living here. It was part of a business building. Who knows? But uh, it's part of the uh, adding sort of a, a, um, 
a character in, in, to, to the table, a uh, sort of giving it a personality, each piece. Much like when I did uh, my uh, that little building with the, uh, the, the Cadia symbol on it, when I did sort of an ode to the fallen world of Cadia. I just wanted to tell a story to give it some character. So people look at it and go, okay, cool, look, man, there's a Cadia symbol. Like, oh, man, like, what was this used for? It's not just, co I mean, at this point, it's just going to be cover for warriors fighting in an epic and grueling battle. But, yeah, so there it is. My little piece of terrain. Very happy with it. I can't wait for the new one. Can't wait to see what the new rules are going to be. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Back to the computer. So there you have it, guys. That is the piece of terrain that I built for the competition. Um, I honestly, like I said, uh, uh, I cannot wait to see what happens with the next next bit of uh, the next rules for the next competition. Um, I've got ideas. I've been looking at some uh, some Japanese folklore, some Norse folklore folk lore wow i can talk uh, just to sort of get some ideas going what i want to do next what i want this uh, thing to look like it i'm um, not right, quite sure yet uh running out of time it starts in a couple days i think we'll probably have a couple weeks like last time so i better better get on that but uh thank you for watching guys thank you for staying through this um uh, hopefully i i'm trying to get back to doing more regular posts hopefully things will allow me to do that um, the next little while but uh, honestly thank you guys very much for 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 hanging out with me uh, as always I will see you next video keep rolling those dice guys we'll see you later